Yeah, it was brilliant, Michael. Yeah, and 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 to be honest, um, you could actually see it in the warm up. Uh, Waterford warmed up right in front of where I was, and I mean, Jesus, I've seen a thousand, the same as yourself. You've seen a thousand warm up drills in terms of shooting drills and whatnot. But this off the shoulder run. So when you say that energy, and Liam Liam um, um, Liam Sheedy re- referenced the word energy last night on 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 on, on um, the Sunday game. Um, that was and it was lacking in Tipperary. Um, it was in a tackle, but it was also in the support run. I mean, every team now is probably some playing a similar variation of the same tactic to some extent, at least. You know, everybody's trying to work that ball more around that middle third and, you know, um, trying to pick the right time to make the pass inside or shoot from distance, like trying to work it into a position where you can shoot from midfield area, far 65, or get it into the corners in the space. Everyone's doing some variation of that. But what Waterford seemed to be doing better than most at the moment, certainly better than Tip yesterday, was um, was the the off the shoulder run, bringing the ball into contact, taking the man out by actually bringing it into contact. So if I'm running at you and I'm I'm actually going right into the contact, I've taken that man out of the game. And as a man like Daryl Lyons in particular was brilliant at coming off the shoulder yesterday. And the second thing, as you say, then was the intensity of the attack. And those two things go hand in hand to some extent in 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 my world because they overturn and then once they overturn you actually going there's players running at, at speed even the very first point of the game from Kieran Bennett was a perfect example of just just the pace at which they were running at and if I was being honest guys you know which I think would be disappointing from a temporary perspective because this is something completely within your control Warford looked fitter and stronger than, than than Tipperary yesterday. Now, whether that's just an energy thing, you know, when you're winning and you know when you're winning it's easy to be full of running as well. Like right, but certainly that's the way it looked. Uh, and, 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 you know, I'm not suggesting for a second tipper unfit, but I think Warford have reached a supreme level of fitness that maybe it looked yesterday like Tipper Tipperary didn't have, couldn't match. Mm. I was going to ask you, Fergal, um, what about these periods where Warford dominated the game and were able to just up the intensity? So there was a period in the first half, Tip had started well, I think there were maybe something like 8-2 or 8-3 ahead. Warford went on an eight-minute stretch of scoring 1-6 to nothing. The final 20 uh, minutes of the game, Waterford scored 10 points. Tip only scored one, and they had only three shots during that period. Why is it you think that the, do you think it's a physical thing and an athleticism deficit that allows Waterford to do that to Tip? Yeah, I, 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 I think so. Um, I, I would also say, though, yesterday that like I didn't see the Antrim game now, but, but I saw the, the, the Dublin game and... Um, you know, it, it, it wasn't that easy against Antrim or it wasn't that easy against Dublin. I know Leash was a, a, a different game completely and probably not too much could be read into that. But I have to say some of that, you'd have to say, was down to Tipperary as well. Um, if I'm being honest, uh, Tipperary looked a little bit rudderless at times. So what I thought about Tipperary, which I'd say was this, again, I, I don't know, I'm not, I certainly wouldn't be writing off Tip for all Ireland because he can never write off Tipperary. But, you know, Tipperary looked like they lacked... Belief yesterday, like, like it, it was when Warford got on top, it looked like they had no response, and that's not something you typically associate with Tipperary. Any of the traditional counties, when a team gets on top of you, generally speaking, you know they've they, they, they've they've enough belief in themselves based on tradition, largely, um, not to, I don't want to quite say tip through in the towel. That 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 might be too harsh, but they certainly had no response when when Warford got on top. There was no real tip response. You're expecting, and if you look at it the other way around, tip went nine three up on Warford after 17 minutes. They were nine three up. You know, there was a breeze there, but I'm not sure how big a factor the breeze is in the modern game when you have this caliber of player. I mean, the, the caliber of player on that field yesterday can still score from 60. There's the scoring zone against the breeze, there's still 65 yards and in, even against a reasonably strong breeze. Now, I know the scoring zone is a bit farther than you can score from the half backs if you delete like, your Jamie Burns and your Callum Lines and all that. They can, they, and, and here in the daily, even for ourselves, you can score from your half back and with the breeze. But nonetheless, in the modern game, every team should be able to work the ball. To the the at least to the midfield, far sixty five, your own sixty five, far sixty five, and shoot from there, even against the breeze. The point being is that you know when 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 uh, when Tip got on top of Waterford, Waterford uh, at nine three up, albeit playing with a strong breeze, Waterford responded and you know didn't look like they knew what they were doing. Looked like even even when they went nine three down, you sense that Waterford didn't look like they were in trouble here. 